Hello, Mr. Good. Good. Okay, good. Okay. So today we'll talk about an interesting problem called the unobstructed buildings. So you're given a list of the building heights. Yeah, building heights. Like uh, 1, 5, 5, 3, hey, that and would be 2. One. Okay, that's it. So, it, it, huh? so this is the building height. So it would be like... Need any commas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what it actually means is that, look, this is a building height 1, and then 5, right? And then 5, and then 3, and 2, okay? So, so look, there's ocean here, ocean, yeah, the sea, yeah? Yeah. So, so when you, which building can see the ocean? If you, if the, the buildings can see the ocean, if there's no other building which is taller, which is, I mean, which is taller or equal. So that would uh, be this one, one this one, one, this one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because this is, this is equal. So, you know, at least, yeah, obviously. So you need to tell me if that. Obviously. Zero, one, two, so three, four. You, so that's where you have to be there. So, yeah, it's just somewhere. So a, as long as there's no taller buildings or equal buildings on the right. Say, say, Version here, definitely here. Yeah. Always on the right. That's right, yes. I say that means always. This the, one can. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the brightmost uh, building is always in the list, right? So let's so I'll put a list of the index. Yeah? yeah. Any idea how we're doing this? Uh, the, uh, the right can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how about the other buildings? If we are not sure what kind of suggestions we will give. Forcing. Brute forcing. How do we brute force it? How do we brute mm. force it? We check each building, right? Yeah. And we check if the building is on the right, which is taller or equal, right? Mm. All right? And if it's uh, taller or bigger than equal, then we, we, we skip it, right? So for I in range buildings, yeah? And then for J in range on the right, okay? And then if it's bigger than... We skip it, okay? I can quickly write this code, okay? I watch the time complexity if I write it. Define, okay, define. Maybe like. Uh, really look, let us see. Buildings. Buildings, five buildings, okay? Let's say, let's do it in a, what? In the lungs. Hold on, okay? Yeah, come If not lungs, if you are not given any numbers, right? And then return, we just return the empty list, right? Empty list, okay? Right? And then n it will be the length of these nums. Nums, okay? Nums. So now look at this. That has a, we have the answer, right? We want to return this in answer. So let's see. For i in range n, right? We, we're iterating. Look, Eric, we're iterating this index, yeah? The building index, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Then we need to find it. Look. Look, we, we have so. Any taller, let's let's do this. Any taller on the right, any taller on the right, eh? On the right, on right, okay? Let's set it to false. Right? This is the boolean. What's boolean? True or false, yeah? Boolean. Yeah, so look, for j in range, let's start finding on the right, which is i plus 1 to n, right? Right? Yes, Eric? It's, mm. it's not there. If nums, J bigger or equal nums i right? Mm -hmm. So what does it mean here? I, I'm i here, and I start from the on the right, which is j to the n. I, if I check these range, if that building is taller or equal than that, right? What do I do? Any taller on the right, yeah? Equals what? Here is 4, and then what should I do here? 2. 2, and then I break it. Look, what's break? Break it. Break. Eric, look, this is the keyword. Break. Break means that I want to I want to stop the iteration. Right? Mm -hmm. I want to stop this iteration. So after I stop iteration, this any taller will be true. Right? And I said, if not any taller, right? Any taller, right? Or on the right, okay? Then I push this in the answer dot append. Open which 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 I which is in the I or Z. The 
Five. Five, yeah, because we're checking, we are literally, we want to check if there are any building on the right, which is I plus one to I, which is bigger than I, right? Alright? Yeah, yeah, return what? Uh, return. Oh, sorry, return what? Well done. What's the time compared to speed? Uh, oh, what? Oh, what? There's a loop, there's another loop. Oh, what? N square. Oh, N square, come on. What's the space complexity? If we're not considering the answer here. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Okay, uh, what's the time complexity? Uh, what's the space complexity? If we are not considering this is the uh, additional space, because this is the output we're going to need anyway. So we don't use any other space, or what's the space complexity? One. Oh, one, oh, one. Oh, one. Okay. Okay. Well done. Can we do better? Maybe we can. Maybe we can. Yes, we can definitely can, okay? So look. Why? Look, if we use the. The, the thing here is that, Eric, the thing, wh why the previous approach is slow? Because every time we're checking this building, we need to check if there are taller buildings on the right, right? Yeah. So this is slow, yeah? Can we do, can we pre-calculate the, pre-calculate the max right? Does it make sense? So look, Eric, if at this point, I know the max right. So if the max right is smaller than the current building, then we know, right? We know we can see the option, right? Does it make sense? So we can do this. We can store this max right array for each point um, on the right, right? So look, Eric. Look at that. Let's do this. Define. Let, let's, let's do a find f function. Okay, just f function to make sure. Come on, yeah. If not num, this is the same, yeah? Not num. Return, return empty, empty, right? So n equals what? Length num, right? We want to know this, right? The length. And then we do this max right. Max right, okay? Just max r, okay? It's the same array which at the beginning we set it to zero times n, right? Times n, okay? All right? So th this is, this max right is the same size of the buildings. And for each, each element, it means that what's the maximum height building? What's the maximum building? What, what's, the, what's the tallest building on the right? Right? Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Okay, now let's do this. Look. Let's do this current maximum equals zero. Let's start from zero. Okay. For I in range. range, we start from the rightmost. Yeah? M minus one till minus one, zero. And every time I decrement one, right? Yeah? So this will go from, look, see? So I will be from n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 until 0, right? Because not up to minus 1. Every time I decrement 1, right? This is what it means. Wait up. Look, and then now look, max r, current max, max r i will be equal to current max, yeah? The rightmost building, the current max. Look, Eric, the rightmost, this is ocean, yeah? Yeah? This is ocean. Yeah. The rightmost building. It's, let's see, the rightmost building height, max y, will be zero, right? Because it's, it can always see, right? Yeah? yeah? It doesn't have any building on the top, on the right, we do this zero. And then we can do this, color max equals max, color max, yeah? And then building numbers, nums i, right? Does it make sense? Yeah? Does it make sense? Look, Eric. So look. We are scanning the building, Eric. Right? We're scanning the building from the right to the left. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So every time we remember, because we're going through the right to the left, we're remembering the max buildings, max taller buildings on the so far. Does it make sense? Yeah? Yeah. So with this, then we can do this answer equals this. And then for, let's do it from the left to the right, yeah? For i in range. Range. And yeah, we go through the Cut. index. Yeah. Look and then look. If nums current building is bigger than what? Eric, can you tell me? If current building height is bigger than what? The white. Max Y, yeah? Yeah? Because we already know this array. Max Y I, right? Right? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. If current building is maximum, is more than the maximum on the right. Then we push this index, right? Right? Append i, right? Does it make sense? And return mm. what? Answer. Answer. 
What's the time complexity? Um, here is a loop, and here is another loop. Remember, previously it was two loops together. Now I have two separate loops. So what's the time complexity? Uh, o, o n. O n. Yeah, that's right. Because this is O n, and this is the independent, right? Two O n. You can say it's two two n, right? But we drop a constant, right? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's O n, right? What's the space complexity? What's the space complexity, Eric? Right? Uh, oh, what? One? No. Look, we are using this already right here. O n, yeah. O n, because we are using this. Not, not, we are not counting this output anyway. So, but this, we need to store the number of the, the, the maximum, right? But can we do better without storing it? Do we actually need to store the max height on the right? All right. Do we need to store the max max right on the I mean on the right I mean every time we, we store on the on uh, the, the all uh, max right right mm. do we need can, can we just do it on the go like can we just do it here yeah yeah because look current max is the max right does, does it make sense look current max is the max right we we not, we can just use it here does it make sense yeah. Mm -hmm. So how can we do this? We can do this, look. Uh, in current max, yeah? Current max. Then, uh, we, we don't need this, yeah? Current max. So current max equals zero, right? And then look. Zero. Then we, we don't need this, yeah? Uh, we just do this. For range, for i in, and then maybe here, answer, mm. answer, answer equals left. For i in range, we start from left, right? Look, and if nums, I bigger than current max, right? Does it make sense? Then we answer the append, append I, and then current max equals max current max. And what? What what's your output here? Huh? What's your output here? Current max equals max current max. We are getting, we want to store the maximum of current, which is current max. Current max is the max building, max taller building on the right. So now I'm at this. Right. No, it will be lambs I, right? Because this is the current building, right? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. This is the same as if lambs I bigger than current max, then I updated current max equals max lambs I. Does it make sense? And look, because we are going through the right to the left, so every time we're pushing this, look, so for example, the, the rightmost if it's 4, then we're pushing the array as 4, 3, 2, 1. It's, on the, it's in the reverse order, right? Yeah, so what should we do? Return answer 1. We should, we should reverse this. Return all of them. Return, no, return answer, which is the reverse order. How do we reverse this or this? Remember? How do we reverse it? Uh, reverse. Yeah, we can do reverse, yeah? Reverse answer or answer. Do you remember this special magic column column minus one? Eh? Do you remember? This is means the reverse copy of the answer. Yeah, magic. Does it make sense? Or you can write it as reverse, reverse, reverse the answer. Right? Yeah. Or alternatively, you can do this answer. Uh, I, I'm not sure, but. Just this. Or, or you can do this two pointer thing to reverse it man manually, yeah? If you want to, but, but this is the clean syntax to reverse it. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? Yeah? Okay. So can we. I mean, what's the time complexity and space complexity here? Uh, n? O n, yeah. We only have a one loop now, right? It's O one n, right? Yeah? yeah? What's the space complexity? What's the space complexity, Eric? Uh, Are we using any space here? No. So what's the space complexity? Uh, one. Oh, one, yeah, oh, one. Oh, one. Okay, so the, the, these are the different ways of doing it. And we have another way of doing it, which is called the monotone. Monotone de decreasing step. Um. Monotone decreasing step. This is a new concept. So what's monotone? Monotone. Turn off. Decreasing, decreasing stack. What's the stack? Can you, can you? If a what's data. stack? Huh? A uh, stack. Yeah, what's stack? If the one 
first in what? Last out. Last out, yeah. It's like a pile of things. So you put the thing in, you put the thing, look, you put the thing one, two, three, four, right? And when you take it out, you'll be four, three, two, one, all right? Yes? So you, you pick up, put a bigger plate first, but the bigger plate, you always take it the last, right? Mm -hmm. You put it one, two, three, four in this order, but when you take it out, you'll be four, three, two, one. Does it make sense? Yeah, mm -hmm. because this is the bottom of the step. This is the top of the step. So the thing here is the monotonous decreasing step. What's monotonous? I don't know. Monotonous means the thing, thing that you're always increasing or you're always decreasing. Look, this, remember Eric, I told you this concept before. Look, y equals x, the graph is this, right? Eric, Eric, look, listen. I'm going to, don't draw. This is not a drawing lesson, come on. This is x, this is y. This, so this graph is y equals x, yeah? Eh? Is this mm -hmm. monotonous? Increasing. Mm, maybe. Yes, because when x increases, y also increases, right? Yeah, so, awesome. So it, is this monotonous decreasing? Nope. Why not? Y increase x, x increasing, y decreasing. So monotonous means you always increasing or you always decreasing, right? Does it make sense? That's what it means. Monotonous, monotonous. Finger, right? All right. Does it make sense? So, monotony decreasing stack is that every time we're making sure the stack, the elements in the stack is always decreasing. So, so look, Eric. So, let, let's say 3, 5, 4, 2, 1. Okay, so what's the answer here? Uh, maybe I have a, maybe I have this. Uh, yeah. All right, 4, 2, 4, 1. Okay. So what's the answer here? What's the answer? Which building can you see on the right? Uh, one, two, this, this is four, zero index. Zero. One, four, two, one. Sorry, so it's four. Not this one, definitely, yeah? Not this one, right? So mm -hmm. it's, it's this one, yeah? You can see this from here. And then only this one, yeah? This two, yeah? So it'll be one. Why can't this one see? Oh, yeah, 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 this one is See, I told you so! Okay, 4 to 1, yeah, you're right. 4 to 1, okay? Okay, yeah? So can we... Look at... Can I simulate this monotonous decreasing stack? So I have a stack. I have a stack, okay? Yeah? Yeah. So, look, I'm going through... I'm going through 3. I put a 3 here. I put a 3 in, yeah? Alright? Yeah, there's nothing on uh, there's nothing on uh, in the stack, so I put it put it uh, put it in the stack, okay? And then okay, now look. Four. When I I want to put the four in, so I want before that I want to make sure all the elements in the stack are strictly bigger. If it's smaller, I just don't want it. Does it make sense? So I want to put a four. So. Is three bigger than four? Is three smaller or equal than four? Uh, yes. It's what? bigger. No, I, I mean three is smaller than smaller. four. So I take it out because I, I don't want any numbers that are smaller or equal than current number, yeah? yeah. And it's empty and I put a four here. One. Is four smaller now, right? If four is bigger, right? Mm -hmm. That's fine, I put a one in. So always, this direction is always decreasing, right? Mm -hmm. Two. You take one out. Yeah, because I one one and not two is not if I put a two here. So it's always decreasing, yeah? When you read it from the bottom to the top, it's always decreasing for two. And then one is okay, yeah? Because two is bigger than this, right? I only mm -hmm. take a smaller one, yeah? Okay? Mm -hmm. So the answer is four to one. Is yeah. It? Does it make sense? Uh. Do, do you get it, Eric? Do you get it? This is why is it called mon monotonous? Why is it called monotonous? Can you explain to me wh why this why this is monotonous? Alright? Uh, Alright? Okay. So, uh, yeah. You know where you put the four in. Yeah. So, wh why is this? Explain to me why is this? What's this monotonous? Is, I think this is X and this is Y. And this graph is Y equals X, right? So, what's monotonous? So, uh... When x is increasing, y is increasing. You're right, right. Increasing them, increasing. Okay, so let's look, Eric. This is graph of y equals x squared. Okay, y equals x squared. Right? Look, Eric. Yeah. 
is this monotonous increasing or decreasing? No. No, why is that? Because uh, you know where, like... What? It's like the... It decreased, then it increased. increased. Yeah, on the right or the top... On the right half of the graph, it's monotonously increasing. But on the left right, left part is monotonously decreasing. Yeah? When x is bigger, y is smaller. And on this part, when x is bigger, x is uh, y is bigger, right? Mm -hmm. Alright? So this is not monotonous, increasing or decreasing. So let's stack here. Eric, Eric, can, can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? So the monotonous decreasing means that we want to maintain a stack that all the stack elements, right, are strictly decreasing, right? Alright? Yeah. Okay? Does it make sense? And how are we doing this? We push, before we push the new element into the stack, we pop out, we pop out all the elements that are smaller or equal than the current stack, right? Current, current element, right? Yeah. And if they are smaller, I just pop it out. So, the, it, the remaining element on the stack is is what? It's bigger or smaller than the current element. If I pop all the elements that are smaller or equal than the current element, and then the, the, the remaining is bigger, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Oh, why, why? No, yeah, no, yeah. What? Define F lambs. Okay. Um, if not lambs, this is the special case when lambs is empty, then we can tell. Return here. Okay, now let's do this stack equals empty, right? Look, Eric, for index and height in enumerate, yeah? Do you still remember enumerate? Enumerate. Nums. Eric, do you still remember this enumerate function? Uh, maybe. Okay, look, Eric, look. Look at the, the, the enumerate function. Look, it's, look at this array is 5, 3, 2, right? Yeah. yeah? So enumerate i and h will become what? i will become, i will be index, right? It's 0, 1, 2. h will become 5, 3, 2. That's what it is. What it is. Look, does it make sense? Uh, yeah? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay, that's an enumerate. If you don't enumerate, you can enumerate over the value. Uh, you can go through the value, which is 5, 3, 1. But I want to have the index, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. I want to have the index. So... It's, it's a clean way of doing this. So in this way, it means i will be 0, 1, 2, and h will be the value, 5, 3, 2. So I can have access to the i and h at the same time. Otherwise, you, you need to write the i for i in num, range, in range, right? Length num, right? And then h will be nums i. Does it make sense? This is the same thing as what? For i in look array. Mm -hmm. Range, range, length, num. And then, uh, what's h? What's h? I just told you. What's equivalent to this one? h will be what? Equals what? The height. Yeah, uh, what, what, what's that? I have an index. What's h? i. Nums. Nums. i. Come on, that's what it is. Nums yeah? I. You iterate with the h. Right over here. Yeah, yeah, this is the index. This is the this. Eric, and you can also be writing in this way if you prefer this look Eric, 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 Eric. i equals zero and then i can do this for for h in nums i iterate over the nums right and every time i do this h equals one and then i do this i plus equal one so this is not preferred way of doing because you are creating this variable and you're doing adding you manually and this is okay this is the most elegant way because i can iterate over the index and the value at the same time because they come in the pair right Yes? Mm. Okay, so now, look, I over iterate i and h. Before that, I need to check why, uh, why a stack that is empty, they, they, are, um, they are elements in the stack. And we are pushing the index, right? And what? Nums, what's the top of the stack? Um, here is the stack. What's the top of the stack? What's this? Um, S minus one. Yeah, wait up. And st. Minus one, this is the index, yeah? And the numbers, look, if it's smaller or equal than current high, right? What, what do we do? We want to get rid, get rid of it, yeah? So if we want to erase the last one, how do we, what, what's the function then? ST dot what? Come on, you pop. know, pop, yes, pop, just pop. Top is, 
is called remove the last element. It's a, a one constant. But if a list, you want to remove the first one, what's pop power? If you want to remove the first one, it's pop what? Uh, one. For zero. zero, 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 zero yeah. And popping the first one is uh, uh, is linear time, yeah? yeah. This this is uh, slightly different than the DQ, double and DQ, which is you can push and pop on both sides, which are all O1 constant, okay? So after that, look, and then the, the remaining of the stack are what? Are the elements that are bigger, right? They are bigger or smaller than the current element. This is to remove the smallest element before current height. So the remaining is what? The remaining is... Look, I have four and I want to five here. And I want to remove this. So the remaining is what? Zero. I, I know, if it has six, six is not removed, right? So the remaining are bigger than the current height. It's decreasing, remember? Yeah? Mm. Right? So now I need to pop st dot what? What? I want to push this height and uh, index pen. in, yeah? A pen. A pen i, yeah? We want to push the index. And return, let's just return this answer, yeah? Uh, return st, not answer, yeah? Because they, this is the final, the, remember, the final state in the stack, which, is, which can be uh, simulated using a list, right? In Python, you can use the list to to simulate the stack, because this is the top of the stack, yeah? You can pop it and you push, push it, right? Does it make sense? Yeah. And then look, okay, so can, can you explain to me, just this one, can you explain to me what, what's this? So like, you know, uh, so like, uh, the stack, yeah? Yeah, yeah, can you? Yeah, yeah. and that's the five, and then, uh, you know, uh, this is, is, okay, okay, so, that, uh, so far this is smaller than that, uh -huh. so, you know, uh, then you put this bit. Okay, look, the, the current stack is the 3, 5, uh, 2, uh, 1. Okay, and then now let's say I have an element, 4. H is 4. Now. Okay, so. So, so what happened here? What happened here? If I have 4 coming in, what happened? So, a 4, yeah, because it's... Cause it's uh, the top of the stack is st minus one. Yeah. Uh, so that means it's it's uh, s s smaller. So we pop it out. Pop it out, and then and keep put on. four in it, and then pop this one. No, out. no, you're not popping up to four in. You you keep popping until the ed top of element is bigger than that, yeah. right? You're not popping one. You keep popping. That's a why 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 there's element in the stack, and the top of the stack is smaller than four, right? It's smaller than 4 and I get rid of it. And here it's bigger. Yeah, and here it's bigger, then I don't pop it and I put the 4 in. This is put the 4 in. So what, what happened here is that uh, this my is the stack will be always decreasing. This is ST, right? Mm -hmm. ST0, ST1 is there. So it will all be decreasing, right? Yeah. That's called the monotone decreasing stack. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, okay. What's, what's, here? what's this part? Okay, come on. Last bit. ST dot pen. Yeah, write it. Thank you. Let, let, that's, that's great. Return ST. Okay, what, which, which method is the best and which one you, you like? Why? We, what's the time complexity of this one? Eric, what's the time complexity of this one? Hi! Oh, what? Um, N. Oh, N, yes. What's the space complexity? Oh. Oh, what? Um, Are we using any additional space in somewhere? Yeah. Just, yeah. Just check, yeah. N. I'm and which one is the best? Is the optimum, remember? I think the one before. The one before. O, o N and O1, right? We yeah. don't need the space. But keeping the maximum on the right, right? Yeah. And which one do you like, personally? There's no right or wrong answer. Which one you like? Uh, the one before. Yeah, the one before. Okay, let's take...